mushrooms are having a moment in the sun, or perhaps more accurately, a moment in shaded animal dung. That is because scientists continue to find new and fascinating facts about the little known kingdom of life. Now, there are way too many fascinating fungi facts to share in this short little video. So here at Psychedelic Spotlight, we thought we would gather five of the most fascinating fungi facts. Enjoy! Number one, fungi are more closely related to humans than they are plants. Now, despite being with us since the dawn of human existence, more on that in just a moment, it wasn't until 1969 that scientists discovered that fungi are not plants and are instead their own unique kingdom of life. Despite looking alike, fungi actually share much more in common with animals and therefore humans than they do plants. For example, fungi can't produce oxygen through photosynthesis. Rather, similar to animals, their bodies absorb the necessary life-giving molecule. And, like animals, they require a food source and produce waste. Furthermore, when looking for common ancestors, it turns out that plants and animals split 1.547 billion years ago, while animals and fungi split only 1.538 billion years ago. This means that fungi and animals split apart 9 million years after plants did, making fungi more closely related to animals and therefore humans than they are plants. So remember, next time you're munching down on a mushroom, be it of the portobello or magic variety, you may just be snacking on a long lost ancestor. Number 2. Humans have been consuming magic mushrooms since the dawn of human history. When examining the earliest records that our ancestors left us, it becomes clear that at least some of them ate magic mushrooms. Now I can already hear you saying, why James, how can you possibly know that? And the answer is quite simply, because they told us so, through the only medium in which they could, art. Throughout the world, ancient humans left cave art depicting mushrooms, often interacting with humans in a manner that can only be described as psychedelic. Take for example this cave painting, found in a cave in Tassili Najer, Algeria, around 4700 BCE. On the right, you see what the artwork looks like today. On the left, a rendition by artist Kat Harrison, found in the book Food of the Gods to search for the original Tree of Knowledge, of what was originally depicted. Now, to be fair, we can't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that what we are seeing is in fact a psychedelic experience induced by magic mushrooms. However, the instances of mushrooms interacting with the human body is just way too common throughout the ancient world. Number 3. Fungi may use electricity to communicate in a way similar to human languages. Recently, a new study was published by Professor Adamatsky in the Royal Society Journal. In it, he ran a mathematical analysis on the electrical signals fungi send through their hyphae, underground tubes connecting together the mushrooms in a fungal colony. Adamatsky argued that the electrical signals pulse in patterns that are stunningly similar in structure and syntax to human languages. In fact, in the four species of fungi tested, the researcher found that the electric pulses could be organized into trains that resemble human words, and that a lexicon, or vocabulary, of up to 50 words appears to be present. Now, to be clear, these results are by no means definitive. We are going to need to see much more study into this matter before we can claim that mushrooms have any form of language. Or, in other words, it may take a few years before we see fungus listed on Google Translate. Number 4. The largest and oldest living organism in the world is a fungus. Now, when you think of what the largest organism in the world is, you probably think of a giant blue whale or a giant squid. And to be fair, those are great guesses, those would have been my guesses, but if you guess that, you would be wrong. In fact, the largest organism in the world is 
a fungus in Oregon. That's right, as crazy as it sounds, there is an underground mushroom network in Oregon's Malheur National Forest, which spans over 2,000 acres and weighs over 35,000 tons. That is the equivalent to 175 Antarctic blue whales, the largest animal on the planet, 175 of them. This fungus, of the R. malaria sta variety, has been given the very appropriate name of the humongous fungus. And to arm you with just one more fantastic fun fungi fact to give at dinner parties, perhaps over roasted shiitake mushrooms, not only is it the largest organism in the world, but the humongous fungus may also be the oldest organism in the world at 8,000 years old. Number 5. Mushrooms can be good for your mental health. By now, you're probably familiar with studies that show that psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, can be very beneficial for treating depression. Perhaps you've also seen studies where psilocybin attempts to treat PTSD, anorexia, uh, addiction, or more. But did you know that regular old edible mushrooms can be very beneficial to your mental health as well? For example, take a look at this study from Penn State College of Medicine, which shows that eating any form of edible mushrooms regularly decreases your chances of mental health issues. In this extensive study, which tracked data from 24,000 individuals over 11 years, the researchers found that people who ate mushrooms regularly had significantly lower odds of getting depression. This is possibly because mushrooms are rich in ergothionin, an antioxidant that has also been shown to lower the risks of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Now, this really shouldn't be a surprise. We have known for decades that mushrooms are extremely healthy for you. Some even call them a superfood. Plus, on top of that, we know that the mind-body connection is strong, and having a healthy body leads to having a healthy mind. Therefore, eating mushrooms is good for your mental health. I hope you enjoyed this episode of 5 Fantastic Fungi Facts. If you did, make sure you tell the algorithm you did by smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel. Plus, let us know down in the comments any fantastic fungi facts that we may have missed. There are so many of them out there. This is James from Psychedelic Spotlight, and I'll see you next time.